So Trek's having some financial problems. Um, John Burke said that they're not ordering as much stock and they're gonna cut like half of their SKUs. And you know, to be fair to the rest of the bike industry, I think that, that <laughs> I think that that's just everything um, across the board because um, during uh, the coronavirus, you know, where everybody drank a bunch of Coronas, um, you know, everybody went and bought a bike because they got a stimulus check. But that was great for the bike industry. But I did see comments from some people during when all this was going on, saying like, "Oh, you know, this this pandemic just saved the bike industry's ass. You know, they were already going down." Which is interesting because this is one of the bike shops I would go into a lot. A lot of people you'd see, they were really like hardcore like road riders. And then during coronavirus, you started to see more like the regular people coming in, buying regular bikes, which I thought was really cool because just getting everybody into cycling. But just, um, you know, with inflation and prices going up and that sort of stuff, you know, some people say they have a, that has a lot to do with it or everybody that bought a bike wanted one. But there's also a really good used market right now. Like I said, kind of like airplanes, right? With airplanes, you know, you can buy used airplanes and get a really great deal. And it works just as great as a new airplane. And it has a lot of those characteristics with it. So it's like, you have some people saying, hey, I can get you this bike for 400 bucks and it's like a 15 pound bike or 6.8 kilogram bike and it's like i want to buy that why would i go out and spend you know a thousand dollars on a bike that has shimano claris and weighs like 21 pounds why do i want to buy that i want to buy you know a 2014 giant defy or 2012 specialized tarmac you know lots of really great options out there for people so I think that's also kind of hurting the bike industry somewhat. You know, that's why you have not as many SKUs going up, but you know, during the um, coronavirus thing, a lot of bike industries, they just ordered a ton of stuff. Like they could not get bikes. There were no bikes. They need to order a bunch of stuff, but I think they partially hurt themselves because it wasn't necessarily that there weren't enough bikes. That's not the whole part of the problem. A lot of it was, you know, a lot of these bikes come from Taiwan, China, uh, Cambodia, and they were all stuck on a boat, at least where I live. I live in the United States. So a lot of the stock was um, stuck on a boat somewhere and just couldn't get in. So that was a big part of the problem as well. So I think a lot of this, you know, it gets boiled down to, oh, this is like one problem, but it's a bunch of problems. You know, not being able to access the stock. You're like, oh, let's order more stock. Let's make sure like as many bikes land as possible. Um, you know, in some Trek stores, people were like, don't say we back ordered a bike, say you're pre-ordering a bike. And I'm like, all right, bro, nah, that seems kind of like misleading, but they would do that just cause like literally there's, there's no bikes available. I've met John Burke, he's not a bad dude. I shook his hand, whatever. He didn't really know who I was. Um, but keep in mind, Trek or whatever company, they have tons of stock. They're trying to move stock. Make sure whatever bike the salesperson is trying to sell you is the right bike for you. They will try and sell you whatever they can to get it out of their store. Stores are overloaded with stock right now. Um, sadly, one of my favorite bikes that I recommend to people, the Trek Domine SL5. They have this beautiful blue sage color and they cut it for this year. And I noticed that I'm like, why are they cutting that skew? But I think part of the reason is they need the boring colors. Like you saw a lot more interesting colors during coronavirus on those entry level bikes, but you have more boring colors now because they need to sell bikes that are as general as possible, that can appeal to as many people as possible. And uh, part of that is just having SKUs that are not super unique, being like, all right, this bike is black. It has 105 um, standard road bike. Um, everyone's gonna want, and I still recommend it. Um, if you guys want a bike that is pretty fast and comfortable, not gonna beat you up, you can drive forever, it's kinda like a Corvette, uh, go out and buy yourself a Trek Domine SL5. Go buy one, it, it, you will not regret it, amazing bike. Um, just be aware of the ISO speed, um, but you'll probably be able to get parts of that. Buy, buy it parts if you're concerned. But uh, amazing, amazing bike. But that skew's gonna stay around. It's just some skew's gonna stay around. 
Do I think Trek's gonna go under? No, I think Trek is too big to fail. I just think they need to um, probably do a little bit of research before they act on things. They're very quick to do things and not quick enough to do some things, if you know, you know. Big concept handlebars. <laughs> but that, that, those, are, those are a couple of things to keep in mind. It's not going under though. Like this stuff is too big to fail. Some people are like, oh, we'll be like Walmart with a Schwinn. Truck stores are basically run like Walmarts, but they have kind of bike shop quality bikes instead of, you know, Schwinn's or whatever. You buy it like a department store that don't really have the best parts on them. But um, definitely you don't have to worry about it. One important lesson from all this though is no matter what, there are proprietary parts. Um, if you're gonna keep your bike for a long time, buy up a ton of spare parts if you're concerned about having access to your proprietary parts. I'd say that is a big um, consideration that I recommend all you consumers do just to make sure you have tons of trouble-free Happy Mountain Miles. And that's what we all want, whether you have a Corvette or a Trek de Mamene, and have trouble-free miles. <laughs> no, it's oh my god yeah, these these woods are beautiful oh <laughs> and <laughs> i'm falling down the hill and, and look look at this b-roll this b-roll is so pretty yeah these are the skies these skies are beautiful new england all right well um everything will be good everything will be peachy in the bike industry it'll be interesting to see what happens but um keep putting miles on your bike lots of happy miles and love you stay vegan